Libra. What's good, what's good, what's good? Lovely soul empress here coming to do your June love reading. Just a uh, quick announcement. Uh, I opened my Patreon last week. I'm very excited about that. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of different things over there. Um, one of the perks that the Patreon people will get, will they will get their month reading a week before YouTube does. And instead of giving them um, June's month reading early, what I did was I gave them a July through December prediction video. So if you guys are interested in that, um, you can uh, check the description box. The link will be in there. Um, what was I going to say about that? Yeah. And for all the signs, when that signs June reading drops, then you know that the prediction video has went up on Patreon. Okay. So, um, that's enough about that. And the tears, um, you can, um, come in as, as uh, low as $9. Okay. So, uh, we're going to get right into it. Um, okay, so you got the tower, could be a Scorpio of importance, but I feel like something is coming as a surprise. Okay, you got the ace of swords, so some type of truth or illumination by this tower. Now, this tower could be negative or positive. We did just have the, um, the, uh, Sagittarius, um, full moon. That was the pink super moon. That was also, I mean, um, blood moon. That was also a, um, lunar eclipse, right? So that was all about the karma. So good karma, bad karma, depends on where you fall on that is how that tower will feel. Okay. But like I said, there's some type of illumination with this ace of swords. And right after that came out the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this has to do with love. I feel like some of you might be surprised to find out that there's love still in a situation. You got the Knight of Pentacles. It could have been something you were waiting on for a long time. Okay, you could have felt like this person was holding back. You got Pop-Up. Okay, came out cross. And this said spontaneous, um, unexpected visit. Right. So uh, I feel like because it's crossed, somebody is considering this. All right. You also got time with friends. All right. And uh, that also said friends introduce you to a, to a new love. So um, you could be at a crossroads right now or you could just be meeting new people. All right. You also got release your ex. So you could have been trying to purge some energy and maybe this is the person that's coming back or maybe this is a new person who's coming in. And you're trying to release the energy from the old person, all right? Now, you also got honesty. So I feel like somebody's going to come forward with some knowledge. I also feel like that's um, linked to that tower. And then you also got, I energetically communicate with you, all right? So if you're getting a lot of synchronicities or you're hearing like certain music uh, and it's reminding you of somebody, it's because this person is thinking about you. Now, out of the motivation manifesto, you got greatness belong to the, belongs to those who have mastered the ability to focus relentlessly on their ambitions and act decisively towards them. So I feel like you're focused on something and maybe that's why you don't see this tower. Now, this tower could also be a breakthrough in what you're working on. And you also got, it's not only about being right. And it says, in all tests of character... When two viewpoints are pitted against each other in the final analysis, the thing that will strike you the most is not who was right or wrong, strong or weak, wise or foolish, but who went the greater length in considering the other's perspective. Don't you agree? So spirit is telling you, you know, before you make any decisions, try to see the other side of things. This could also be related to this tower. Maybe there is a new perspective with that ace of swords about how somebody else felt in a situation, but we're going to get right into it. I'm going to pull a Celtic spread and we're going to see what's going on here. Let's move these to the side. Okay, Spirit, can you show me the situation surrounding my Libra gang right now? Okay, and can you show me the block, can you show me the blockage for Libra, Spirit? Can you show me the blockage for Libra? 
And can you show me what's at the foundation of the situation for Libra? Can you show me the energy that's falling away from the spirit for Libra? Thank you. Can you show me what's crowning Libra right now? Thank you. Can you? Okay. This is what's coming in. Let me move this. Can you show me how Libra sees themselves? Thank you. Can you show me how others see Libra? Thank you. Can you show me what's in Libra's hopes and fears? Thank you. And can you show me the most likely outcome spirit? Can you show me the most likely? I don't want passive. I want them to actually come out. Can you show me the most likely outcome spirit? Show me the most likely outcome. Thank you. And you got the King of Pentacles as the overall energy. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn of importance, or this could be you. And I saw this as one of the cards that wanted to pop out. So the Emperor is here. So you could be an Emperor energy. This could be about Aries, a Taurus, a Scorpio, okay? Or this could be you, okay? I feel like there's wisdom and courage that's needed for this situation. With the Four of Cups. There's some type of... Um, feeling of the unknown with this four of cups like you're not sure if you should accept a love or forgive one it's something related to that okay i'm gonna leave this face up all right so we're gonna get a deck to clarify now you have the four of swords as the situation so you could be resting or healing okay from something but I also feel like you're ascending. Do you see that staircase there? So you could be on a spiritual journey right now, okay? Maybe you're not even aware of this, but you're looking back. As you can see, he was looking back. I'll show you in a minute. You're looking back at something. As you see, you're looking back, okay? So while you're resting and healing, you're assessing something. And then you have this hangman in reverse. I feel like you're looking back at something because you feel like either someone didn't have the right perspective or you're realizing now with this spiritual ascension that your perspective wasn't, wasn't seeing everything for what it was. But you're getting illumination now. Now that hangman, that uh, that could be Aquarius or Pisces. So there could be an Aquarius or Pisces of importance. But I feel like you're looking back and you're realizing something about your perspective of a situation wasn't quite accurate and you're getting the illumination of that. Now, the uh, what's in the blockage is the Page of Pentacles. There could be a child of importance. This is also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be an offer. This could be something about an apprenticeship. Maybe you've gone back to school or something. Or you're trying to uh, learn something to bring uh, in your career. Right? There could be a child who um, may be gifted or something, and you may be trying to, um, like, they could be having difficulties. But you have the five of wands here. And I feel like there's also some type of offer or a message of an offer of something, an opportunity. Five of wands, but it's related to some conflict. I feel like the conflict is within you. Right? And then you have the emperor here. Right? This person could be married. You could be married to this person. This could be your partner. Right? This could be your boss.
for some of you, this is your boss giving you like, you know, telling you, you know, you have a, a specific skill, but you need to further it and, and you're going to get a lot of competition or letting you know that there's other people in the running or that you'll have to do something to further something. But for the majority of you, you're dealing with somebody who could be kind of controlling. This could be a boss, a CEO, uh, a manager, uh, independent contractor, somebody with some type of authority. Right? This person could be married to you or to someone else. But I feel like there's a, a, an offer that's being made here and it's bringing some inner conflict. And then the two of wands. It's like, you know, you need to make a decision about something. And this is why there's the four of swords. It's like you're in contemplative mode, but you might not have been looking at something right with that hangman in reverse. And maybe the illumination is coming to you about that. There could have been somebody who was acting immature as this page of pentacles. And the conflict is that they were holding on to some immature ways instead of stepping into the emperor or you're the emperor and they, you know, like somebody needs to level up and the two of wands needing to make that decision. Now you have temperance as the uh, foundation. Spirit, why? Anything else turn over? No. So temperance is divine timing, patience, healing. So I feel like there's something that's mending here, but it might have taken a long time and it's because spirit was uh, doing things behind the scenes. You have the moon card that could be a cancer of importance, but I feel like it has something to do with inner desires. And I also feel like spirit's hands is in it. Do you see how the smoke is blowing? Now, there's also some type of secret here, secret emotion, hidden emotion, subconscious emotion, and it's related to this four cups. This could be the release your ex energy that we were talking about in the pre-shuffle about somebody who's holding on to something or energetically, uh, you know, because you also had I communicate with you energetically. Like there could be a tie from the past. So somebody from the past could be coming back. You did get spontaneous pop up, right? Or this could be the need to let go of something emotional from the past so that whatever is coming in can come in. Something you've been waiting on, three of wands. But it's like needing to call final judgment on something. And somebody could be asking for reconciliation. With the Page of Swords, I feel like you're focused on one thing and somebody's focused on you with the Page of Wands is very passionate. This person could have been the uh, Knight of Wands in the past, or this could be a new person, but now they're the King of Pentacles. The thing is, the uh, King of Wands is also here. So this is that new and old energy I was talking about here is the Death card, okay? There's some type of transformation you're going through. Seven of Swords. And I feel like there could be some self-deception attached to this. Or you could have discovered that somebody was lying to you with this Two of Swords and you couldn't see it. But I feel like there could be a relationship that you were waiting on for a long time. And just as that relationship is getting its, uh, you know, getting um, in the upright. Because I feel like this knight of pen, this uh, page of pentacles could have been somebody who was acting immature, somebody who was younger than you, right? So just as that relationship is like healing and getting right, two of swords, something happens and you discover that maybe you really wanted to be single, nine of pentacles, and you already had gotten to the seven of pentacles with this person and they see you as the queen of pentacles or... This person changed. This person changed. They might have come into balance, all right? But I still feel like there's somebody else. Now, you could be in your masculine. You could be showing up as this um, 
king of pentacles wise and because i said that before this wisdom and courage that's needed for this situation and the king of wands and the king of pentacles is here right so those are both the wisdom and the courage right so i feel like you could be finally coming into that or this person is and the seven of swords it's like you don't believe it to with the tower two of swords you never expected that you're like could be single right now they're talking about let's build because they see you as the queen of pentacles and they have love so that could be either way you could be trying to free yourself or you're going to be surprised that this person's coming back in because the chariot is definitely here something is giving you the um nine of swords like it's giving you a lot of anxiety because whichever which one put yourself in that category it's surprising to you okay about this ten of cups right the ten of cups happy life happy wife happy family so this person could be coming in and telling you that or you could be telling them you know i thought this is what i wanted i know i asked you you know to change these things and now that you have i really met somebody and i want to be free so that could be happening okay either which way put yourself on what side you belong now the energy that's falling away is the seven of wands spirit why is the seven of wands here can you show me Okay, and if you um, could like this for me, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to donate to the channel, you can donate at um, PayPal at Lovely Soul or Cash Sign um, um, Lovely Soul Empress on Cash App. Okay, so um, thank you. That would be appreciated. The Seven of Wands, I feel like whoever was defensive in this situation that's starting to fall away i feel like um there's renewed passion here right judgment there could have been a separation but i feel like somebody wants this situation back now you could have called final uh judgment on a situation but i feel like that's not the case i feel like there was a stagnancy but now there no longer isn't but it's after you gave up waiting on it now you have the king, the queen of wands as to what's crowning you, spirit. Why is this queen of wands crowning you? So, okay. For the masculines, male or female, this is not a gender specific reading, right? You could have been with a queen of wands, right? And this person could have been seeing other people, right? And then you could have ended that situation or they ended it with you. I'm really feeling like they ended it with you. And then you might have went back to somebody that you were with from the past or you've been single, right? But I feel like you went back to somebody else. Now they're trying to come back in with the six of cups, right? But they left you out in the cold and I feel like you don't trust that situation. Yeah, the ten of swords, right? But they're going to try to come back in anyway. All right, now for um the females, or the feminines, again, not a gender specific read. I feel like uh, someone who you were trying to give your energy to was holding back and you decided to detach. And then when you started to detach from this person, maybe you met somebody else and this person now sees you as the queen of wands and they want you back because they're afraid of being left out in the cold. Okay, it feels like a betrayal to them. But the wheel is just turning because they had you in a fucked up spot before. Knight of Swords, I feel like they're going to tell you that they really want this Ten of Pentacles and that's the tower. You never thought that would happen because this person was always wearing a mask about their emotions, but they really do want to collaborate with you. You could be acting like the King of Swords because this is your card, all right, where you're like, you know what, is this shit real? Um, you know, you're trying to use your discernment and, and, and you know, divide uh, fact from fiction, I'm hearing, right? And you also want to give to yourself because I feel like uh, in the past you might have put other people ahead of you and now you're trying to decide what will make you happy. So that way you could close out whatever, whatever needs to be closed out so you can have a new cycle. So there's some type of choice and love. Okay, so now what's coming in is the King of Cups. Spirit, why is this King of Cups here? Cancer Pisces is Scorpio. Can you show me? Or someone in that energy? So the King of Cups... 
Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or someone in that energy. You may not be able to read this person completely. Maybe this is somebody from the past, or this could be this new person. I feel like this is the person you were kind of waiting on. Okay, and um, you still can't read them all the way. They seem different to you, but you're not sure. Okay, so you're the Queen of Swords here. You're coming out crossed. Like, since you can't read them, you don't want to uh, take a position just yet about this collaboration that they're offering to you. Because this person broke your heart before. They are apologizing. But, um, you know, you are focused on, you know, the past and how they were acting like the Knight of Wands. And even though now they're representing themselves as, like I said, the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. They're telling you, I'm older, I'm wiser now. Um, you know, I didn't have um, the inner strength, but I do now. <clears throat> I've gone through a death and transformation, but you're still leery because you don't know if it's a seven of swords. Yeah, like you can't see uh, the situation clearly. Now, as to how you see yourself, you see yourself as the nine of swords. Spirit, why is that? Yeah, because this person... Coming back in is giving you hell of anxiety. I feel like you energetically feel them. Look at the look at them coming. Right? Sleepless nights. They could have told you I'm going to be in your area or whatever. Or they didn't even tell you shit and you know it. Right? And here's um the chariot. That's them coming in. Page of Swords, okay? They're very focused on you. Six of Swords, they're telling you that they want to go to Common Waters, but you could have already started a new beginning. For some of you, it could have been an Aries. Um, or they could be telling you, I'm coming towards you with the Six of um, Swords, Okay, to go to Common Waters, I want a new beginning because you're my soulmate. That could be that too, right? Um, and you could really want to give to this with this Queen of Cups. But I feel like, you know, you're really examining this with this uh, Hermit card. Because you felt like this person was trying to win at any cost before. And the um, Nine of Wands is here. So you got your defenses up pretty good. But I feel like this person wants some type of commitment. And this is the card of Taurus. This is the Hierophant. Okay, this is Faith and Hope. Now, you could have had Faith and Hope for this situation before. But I feel like this person is offering you some type of commitment that maybe you wanted in the past. I'm getting the energy that was connected to that uh, Knight of Pentacles that was in the pre-shuffle. All right, um, so now as to how others see you as the two of wands, spirit, why? Okay, so uh, the two of wands, this person could have not made a decision in the past, but they feel like you're the one who has the power in this situation. Knight of Pentacles, you were waiting on them for something. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but really it was you. And the Six of Swords is in reverse. They might feel like you're prolonging this because you don't want to move to common waters, right? But you're holding back because you're not really sure about the strength of this relationship. There's the Page of Pentacles again. There could be children in this situation. Now, for some of you... You know, your um, this page of pentacles is like the offer, the opportunity, but you're unsure, like you're juggling. Do I, don't I, do I want this? Eight of wands, I feel like there is communication happening. Okay, you might have been concentrating on your ace of pentacles, but I feel like spirit's giving you a second chance at something. Um, you might be holding back from that, okay? But the lovers is here. You will be made to make a choice. Card of Gemini, it could be a Gemini of importance. Okay, here you are trying to use your discernment to go after what will make you happy. 
All right. So um, for your hopes and fears, you have the three of cups in reverse spirit. So in your hopes and fears is that you won't get to be happy. Three of cups in reverse, right? You really want this ten of pentacles, happy life, happy, I mean, um, community, family, generational wealth and legacy. Spirit is saying if you don't feel the same way about somebody, then you should set yourself free. You can't stay there just because you've built something with them and it's financially stable, Right, You have to go to where your heart will be happy. But this also could be saying, like, I feel like I'm never going to be happy. I'm never going to have that family that I want. Seven of uh, wands, right? Feeling defensive. Because you really want the ace of cups. Nine of pentacles. I feel like tired of being single. Seven of pentacles. Really assessing how you got there. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn of importance, but I feel like what you want is, you know, that partnership, right? Three of Swords, but there have been a lot of betrayals, right? But I feel like you're getting an apology of some sort from somebody who was a Knight of Wands, okay? And it's repeating the message. They're like, they're trying to come back as the King of Pentacles. And you have the King of Pentacles as the overall energy. Now, the most likely outcome is the Ten of Swords. Spirit, why? Can you show me? Okay. So you have the Ten of Swords here, okay? There's a lot of betrayals that happened in this situation. It could have been cyclical. And you have the Ten of Wands. I feel like the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, you're finally closing out something that has been very burdensome to you. This could even be the decision-making process, right? But you're letting go of the burdens and the betrayals, right? Because um, I feel like you have here the um, Wheel of Fortune because until you release those things, it's in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune. Like, you feel like you couldn't bring in your blessings, right? And you're feeling divinely guided towards something with this star card, the card of Aquarius, right? You could have Aquarius North Node, but I feel like... Um, <clears throat> for some of you, like, you, you felt like you couldn't... Um, get out from under this energy so it's like you're separating yourself from this person because you feel like with them you can't um advance right and then for others of you it's like you you beginning to heal this situation by healing yourself this person comes back right you thought the whole situation was closed out ten of swords ten of wands and the wheel not moving, but spirit had a different idea with this star card in Aquarius, somebody feeling divinely guided. But here you are, the king of swords. Again, you're really trying to discern what's making you happy. And it's got you stuck in your head with this eight of swords about this eight of pentacles and who you should collaborate because somebody wants to work on something here with you. Four of wands, this has to do with your home life and your... Um, you know, commitment and like halfway to marriage, right? And then you have the four of swords where you began. So this is the ascension. This is the healing. So for some of you, you've healed the situation and now you get the victory, right? Six of pentacles, somebody that gives fairly to you because something was toxic and you had to release it. All right, let's look at this um, king of uh, king of pentacles as the overall energy spirit. Why? Yeah, so uh, this King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? I told you, this person kept trying to tell you that they are the King of Pentacles, that they've gotten the wisdom now of this situation, right? This person could have walked away from you in the past, but I feel like they're trying to return. Some of you are walking away from this person because you feel it would be justice. This could be a divorce, but for others of you, this person is returning to give you justice after a heartbreak. 
and apologizing, all right? But you have the Seven of Pentacles here. You get to assess whether you want to be single or you want the Ace of Cups. Either way, you're going to get the Ace of Pentacles. But there is um, a choice that needs to be made. And you're not going to be able to juggle this forever. The messages are coming in, okay? So let's go into another deck. Let's see what else we can find out about this situation. Spirit, is there anything else we need to know about this situation? Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. You have drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos. I feel like for some situations, this could be this queen of wands, okay? This could be some energy from the past, right? Or they could see you, they could have saw you like that in the past because remember you had the hang um, man in reverse, right? So it was like some type of misconception of the person and then projected future weeks, days, months, Spirit, why is this projected card here? Yeah, that's the message of this person uh, trying to return. Okay, and then drama queen, spirit. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could see them like that or they could see you like that, but they feel like this is the quintessential spouse. Right? Maybe they saw you like that in the past, but now they see you as the quintessential spouse. Because remember, I said it was some immature energy. And they're manifesting you, okay, with this devil card. Because it's like they're obsessed. Now they realize the truth of how they fucked up. And they feel codependent as well. The desperate. Four of Wands, okay? A lot of them, you know, you guys were living together and they want to come home. Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on it. They're stuck in their head. Here you are still like, I don't know if this is going to make me happy. Right? Let's look at what Spirit would like you to work on. Spirit, can you show me what my Libra gang needs to be working on right now? What does Libra need to be working on right now, Spirit? See, you got trust in reverse, just as what I'm saying, right? You're not sure if you can trust this person. Spirit, can you show me what Libra's person needs to work on? Regret. So they regret the choices that they made, okay? And then at the bottom of the deck is happiness. So they just want to be happy with you, but I feel like you're unsure if you can go back. Spirit, can you show me what this person would say to Libra if they could? Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. So uh, they got what the hell. So something that you did, you changed your direction, you detached, whatever. It was surprising to them. They never thought that that would happen. Got life partner. I told you they see you as their spouse. And you got what I said to you still haunts me, okay? So whatever words were exchanged, this person often thinks about that or how they treated you or whatever, okay? And that is that uh, walking away, all right? You also have that justice card there. So they might be feeling like they're getting their just desserts, all right? Uh, let's go into the love and romance. Spirit, can you show me what's the energy between these two for the month of June? Very soon. Very soon, Spirit. Retreat. Heart to heart conversation. So they are coming towards you to talk. All right, let's get a clarification deck and see what's going on. So you got very soon, spirit Why? Childhood love. So this relationship, you know, this could be somebody from your past that you, you need to release something. 
right? A early heartbreak, or this is like they're telling you like this is a, a pure type love, okay? And then retreat. Fun times, all right? Um, I feel like if this person comes to visit you, you guys will have some conversations, especially with this heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And, you know, there's going to be like um, a renewed energy there. But uh, like I said, you're unsure. So let's see what comes out. Spirit, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? Honest, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And remember, you had that honesty card. Spirit, can you show me why this heart-to-heart -heart conversations is here? Shyness, encouraging, taking it slow. So this person knows that you're a little bit um, leery of them. Soulmates, okay? So they're telling you that that's what they feel, but you're retreating to figure out time to walk away to find yourself, karmic release, right? Getting to know you. So it's like, um, you know, you're going to take it one step at a time and then the hands of time wanting to grow old with you, right? So you have trust issues in this situation, right? But they want to fix it. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. All right, my Libra gang. I just want to say uh, thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through, spending a little bit of time with me. And if you're a new viewer, um, I hope and I resonated with you, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. And um, for those of you who are interested in the extended six-month preview uh, and want to see it early because it won't be up on YouTube till July 1st, then um, like I said, I will link the Patreon in the description box, okay? Hope to see you there. Um, wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.